Welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about on what surfaces epoxy will stick. So we will talk about epoxy adhesion and obviously we're not going to talk about concrete like in this picture because this is where epoxy usually is applied on flat concrete floors. We're going to talk about a bunch of other places where you can apply epoxies and throughout this video I'm going to talk about if you can apply epoxy on tiles, if you can apply on wood, plastic and PVC sheets, fiberglass, soft cement, old epoxy, terrazzo floors. All this is covered so stay tuned and if you want to learn about one of these you can just skip forward to the relevant chapter you can see below I've, uh, I've made a list of all the subjects to be covered and for every subject or wherever relevant I also have articles and videos that I'm going to post below so you can check out other articles if you want to learn more about a specific subject. So let's start with tiles and I'm showing you a picture where we are applying epoxy on tiles. You can apply epoxy on tiles, but it is tricky, and I am going to post a video below to talk more about it. The main issue with tiles is, one, you need to grind the tiles, like in this picture here. Look how the tiles look scratched. You want to remove that film. So when you are working with tiles, number one per thing you have to do is you have to grind the surface and remove that little coating that's covering the tiles because you want the primer, the epoxy primer, to penetrate the tile. Also very important, you, you use a primer when you prime the tiles. You need to fill up the joints. That's going to be an issue because you've got these joints that are going to be visible. If you try painting over with a roller, you're just going to get a bunch of joints being visible unless you don't care about them. Also, often when we coat over tiles, sometimes you have loose tiles. You want to make sure that's, that stuff's fixed because if you have a loose tile underneath, you're not going to solve your problem on top with epoxy. And a general comment about tiles, it will cost you more than applying epoxy on concrete. People think they can just cheaply replace their tiles by painting over with epoxy. If you want to paint over tiles, it will cost you more because you need to factor in the fact that you need to fill up the joints and re-sanding and re-coating. There's much many more steps involved in applying epoxy over tiles. So keep that in mind. Do not expect this to be something cheap. Now let's get to wood. This one's a touchy subject because I've done a video in the past. I've talked about it in the past and there's a lot of disagreement if you can apply epoxy in wood. Uh, some people were quite offended by my views because I am very skeptical of applying epoxy on wood. Um, yes, if you, you can apply epoxy in the sense that epoxy sticks on wood. But, however, and it's also fine if you want to apply epoxy on a countertop. However, a lot of wooden floors, and I'm talking about painting epoxy on wooden floors, are flexible they wiggle if you walk on wooden floors they tend to move around and that could lead to your epoxy cracking because epoxy is by nature a rigid material another problem is that wood may contain moisture so you may apply your epoxy and it may contain moisture and that could also cause problems like peeling and also beware when you're applying on varnished wood because varnished wood is in general harder to get epoxy to stick to it so you may want to do some prior sanding if you want to apply epoxy on wood in general i'm not a fan of applying epoxy on wood and one final point and i see this problem a lot people especially in the u.s confuse wooden co coatings for wood and varnishes as epoxy people that's not the same thing varnishes and coatings specially made for wood it's not epoxy, it's usually polyurethane, it's usually some other type of chemical, but it's not epoxy, so please don't call epoxy for wood. There is no such thing as epoxy for wood. It's usually something else. So, just, just to sort of recap what I said, you can apply epoxy on wood. I'm not a fan because of the possibilities of it cracking in the future. If you are going to do it, you may want to do it only on very hard wood floor that's porous, that hasn't been varnished, and that doesn't move much. Next subject is synthetic floors. These are like PVC tiles, vinyl, linoleum, all these types of soft floors we tend to put in office spaces and commercial spaces. In general, this is a huge no-no. I do not recommend trying to apply epoxy on these surfaces. Um, for starters, it's very difficult to get epoxy to stick to these surfaces. These are synthetic surfaces. They've been coated with various plasticizers it's very difficult to get epoxy to stick long term on it. You may get it to stick for one week and then it will start peeling. Another big problem is that you've got these problems with flexibility and expansion. Look at these 
materials are very flexible. Epoxy is not like that. So if you if in by for any reason this material starts to move, the epoxy will simply crack. Another important thing is these floors they don't have any pores, so it's very difficult to get them to stick because they do lack pores. Having said that, I do have some customers that had old worn out PVC tiles under like really old PVC tiles and they were actually able to paint apply a primer and paint them over it's not really a long term uh permanent solution but they just wanted to freshen up their area and it actually worked for them but that's only talking about old worn out PVC tiles that had already kind of lost their coat uh in general i am against applying epoxy on anything that's synthetic like PVC or vinyl Let's look at fiberglass now. This is an interesting one because I get this a lot with pool coatings. People have old fiberglass pools, they're worn out and they want to just recoat their pools. Uh, and actually you can do that with epoxy. You can recoat old fiberglass pools or fiberglass surfaces with epoxy. Um, however, you should always sand the surface just to be sure that you're going to get good penetration and that you're going to get nice pores in the surface. You also want to be using a suitable epoxy primer to make sure it just goes into the surface. You don't want to mess about with these things. Um, as another comment is, yes, epoxy will stick to the fiberglass, but make sure that you are considering UV resistance issues. So if you plan to use it for a pool, you may need to have always water in the pool. Otherwise, the sun will damage the epoxy. Or you may want to apply a UV resistant uh, coating instead. So... This is obviously what I said before. You can we you tend to recoat epoxy old old fiberglass pools with epoxy. It's a very good way to sort of for a low cost to make your fiberglass pool look like new again. Moving on, let's look at soft cement. I mentioned at the start that you can apply epoxy on concrete. With soft cement, it's a bit trickier, and that's why I have posted these two pictures here, and I've done an entire video on this subject. This is what I mean by soft cement. When the, the cement underneath, you've got all these little pieces coming out and it's very dusty. And this is a classic example where the epoxy was applied on top and it just failed. Now, why did it fail? Well, there's several reasons. Soft cement, one is because it's uneven, you need to grind it and prime it really, really well. Um, I only recommend these applications if you are going to use it for a low intensity use so if it's going to be like a storage space where no one hardly ever walks in there go ahead and apply epoxy if you just don't want any dust in the room it, it works however if you're planning on using this for like a heavier wear and tear if you're going to be if you're going to be walking on the surface every day with pallet trucks and shifting things around or parking cars it's a matter of time before the cement underneath starts to crack and the epoxy will crack with it. Here's an example of a of a uh, this picture. You can see how the cement underneath has cracked and the epoxy kind of took the cement with it. So make sure that you do not use this. You can only use you can only apply epoxy on soft cement if it's a really low intensity use of the floor. If you plan on using the floor for anything heavier, you want to tear out the cement and put in a proper leveled concrete instead. And now let's go to old floor coating. So you have an old floor coating and you want to reapply epoxy. Like in this picture here, we've got someone who we've, we coated an old floor and then we want to reapply a new fresh coat on top. When we talk about epoxy, the answer is yes and yes and yes. Yes, you can apply epoxy and old epoxy. That's the beauty of epoxy and it usually sticks without many problems. However, you want to consider the following. If you have a very smooth self-leveling surface like this one here, I would always recommend that you lightly sand the surface or you prime it in advance because you may have some surface tension problems. You may have like, if, if the surface is really glossy, the new coat on top may have problems kind of leveling out properly. I have had problems with craters in the past where we applied a fresh layer of epoxy over an old, over an old, very smooth and glossy surface, and we got craters. Um, also, if you are going to apply over old epoxy, make sure the old epoxy is not peeling everywhere, because that can cause all sorts of problems. And I will post a video about how to fix peeling epoxy and what to do with it in another part. I'll post a link below. Um, and finally, I always recommend if you're working on really old epoxy floors, a, a coat of primer is always useful it helps kind of 
make sure that you'll have good adhesion because you never know what that oh, that old surface may have been contaminated with oils or other types. And now let's move to polyurethane. And this is tricky because even though polyurethane and epoxy look similar, polyurethane is a much harder product to bond on compared to epoxy. So if you try applying epoxy and polyurethane, it will not stick as well, especially if it's the polyurethane is, um, has cured fully. So you, you may run into problems here and you may get sort of future peeling. So that's why I always recommend if you need to apply epoxy on top of polyurethane, always do a quick sanding first and prime the surface to make sure that it will stick properly. I have seen cases where the epoxy starts to peel off polyurethane. So you want to be careful with polyurethane. And another point to make is a lot of times you might have other types of floor coatings like acrylics or an old coating that is so old you can't even tell if it's epoxy, polyurethane, acrylic or something else. In general, when you work with these surfaces, you always want to be on the safe side. Do a good sanding first. See if the coating can be removed. If you can remove it, just remove it instead. Prime it. Make sure that the primer, there's no reaction in the primer. And then apply epoxy on top. You want to be safe than sorry because if you apply over an old coating and then you get all sorts of problems like I have had in the past with bubbling floors, it's just a nightmare to fix. So you want to be on the safe side. And I've got another one here and this is terrazzo or mosaic. So these are old floors that were made like 20 or 30 years ago and they have these old terrazzo shapes and people ask me, well, can I apply epoxy? The answer is yes, but you need to consider a few things and the most important is you need really good grinding and priming. Um, terrazzo, although a lot of it is cement or sand and that will stick, you also have these little particles in the floor that may not stick. So you always want to do a good grind over and scrape the surface. So whatever primer you use, then you, it can penetrate the surface. You want to avoid just trying to paint over because terrazzo, especially old terrazzo, has collected dirt over the years. Another problem with terrazzo is, especially if you're working with worn out terrazzo, and that is it has little cracks and little holes that may not be visible immediately. So you should be prepared to do more priming, more sealing, maybe add some more additional coatings to make sure that the floor is completely sealed and then you can proceed uh, with applying your top coat. So always expect, if you're going to work on terrazzo floors, expect an increased cost, especially if it's an old and worn out floor. There's always these floors, they have cracks and they've been worn out over the years. Anyway, that's, those are the surfaces I wanted to talk to you about. If you want to go more into epoxy, I have posted some links below, but you also should check out our online course because there's so much information there about all sorts of stuff, about how to apply an epoxy floor. We go from the grinding to the priming to the ceiling to all parts of the floor. We talk more about surfaces. We talk about when you should apply a self-leveling or a or a roller applied coating. We have so much information in there and it's a great way to just learn and get professionally involved in epoxy floors. So definitely check out our course. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Remember you can subscribe to this channel if you haven't. I've posted a bunch of links below. Thank you so much for watching for your support.